Welcome back, my dear students. I hope you guys are doing a really, 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 or having a really awesome day. Great job for those of you that have actually worked through the issues and, and have written the code with me. For those of you that are trying to learn this and put, you know digest this information, great job as well for trying. So in this lecture here, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be installing a package or using a package by doing the re requiring the package and actually using it. All right. So let's go ahead and play around with that a little bit, so that way you can get a good idea how this is done. So in the last lecture, we saw how we were able to install some packages, and we did install HCLs, if I'm not mistaken, which is right here. Okay, in the no modules folder. Here's the code here for HCLs. Okay. So. We're not going to go into details on every little package here because there are so many, but I'm going to show you how we can use ACS, okay? So I'm going to create a file here. I'm going to call it ACS.js. I'm just going to give it the same name as the package, okay? So the first thing that we need to do is we need to come here and require it. Simple as that. There we go. And now once we require require it, then we start using it. And let me show you how simple it is just to make a GET request with HCS. And for those of you that don't know what HCS is, I'm going to actually show you. I have it. I have the window here. Let me come back here. And if you go to the repository here, it's just basically a package that allows us to do HTTP requests and they have a Patreon GitHub here and you can find more information about it. Okay, here's some of the documentation here, some of the things that you can do with HTTPS. All right, super simple. But look what we got here. We got the get, delete, head, options, post, put, and patch. Okay. A lot of stuff is supported here from the request. So anyway, what I'm going to do in this lecture here, and this is a very simple uh, thing to do, is we're going to make a request to a GitHub page. We're going to pull information from a user, a public public information, of course. We're not hacking into anything yet. And I say yet because maybe in the future I'll show you how to do some things like that. I'm just joking, joking, guys. Come on. Anyway, so um, I'm going to start using the package here. I'm going to make a GET request. And we want to make a GET request to HTTPS. And yes, you didn't see me typing in the um, GET in that module because HTTPS allows us to make any type of request we want, either HTTP or HTTPS. It would detect it in the background. Okay, it's a really cool package. So we're going to hit the API of GitHub. And we want the users and but we want to actually create a user let's create a variable here and I'm just gonna type in the username I'm just gonna put Edwin okay that's not me that would not be my profile I wish I had that name but I don't so this user this is a root user in the github repository that we are gonna get information from about so you can type in any name you want if you already have a github account go ahead and feel free to type in your name or your username. All right, once we have that, then we are going to get some data back. And this is what we use then. This is using promises, okay? So then we get we get a function here, it's a callback function, and we're going to get the response simple as that. A promise is basically information that we are promised to get back, okay? That's what promises are in short. Now, like I said before, I have a ES6 course and that will give you some more information about promises or you can look it up. We're not going to dig too deep into promises now because this lecture is about ATS and how we can use a package that we just installed in our application. So now that we have a promise, make sure that you always have some type of catch function attached to it. Because if not, this is will this will fail. Here we have another callback with an error back. Okay, and here I'm just gonna console. I think 
back in the days, you didn't have to attach a catch, um, some type of error or anything, error handler. But now everything is always moving and improving, and now we always need to uh, handle that error. If now we're going to get some type of uh, issue in our application. So once we have the, the, the information, the response, we can just console that. Console the log and we console the response dot data. Simple as that. Okay. Now let me show you what we get with that. Let's execute that file is HS. Enter. And if you look at it, we get all the information from that user. Okay. Type of user. It's a user, site admin, false. The name is Mohammed Edwin. That's really cool. Mohammed Edwin. And we get some uh, some more information from that user. So how can we access that user? Well, we can start going like this and accessing the properties of that object. So now let's execute that again and you can see that it's going to give me the amount of followers that user has which is 40. Okay? Pretty cool stuff and you can keep accessing information. You can eat, access even the blog of that user like this. Enter and you can see the blog of that user there. Alright? You see how easy it was to use with HCS we didn't have to type in all this uh, on uh, event listeners or anything like that. Just require the information and behind the scenes, Exus is helping us achieve this. Thank you so much for watching this lecture, guys. And I'll show you some more examples in the following lectures of how we can make Node really fun. Thank you so much, and I'll see you then.